Hey guys, welcome, welcome, and welcome back to the Pave Pro Tips. So in the today's video, I will be revealing you how to make each and every visual in a Pave more stunning, more attractive, and more intuitive. We basically have two important steps to do that. Make sure that each and every element in a Pave report is properly aligned. This should be your step one. Mm -hmm. And the step two is to make sure that you are disabling the background of each and every element. So I will be showing you how do we do that. So let us click on the date slicer. Let us go to the format option. And now under general, let us disable the background from the effects. Okay. Let us go here. Let us do the same. Similarly, even over here. Let us disable the background first and I will show you the magic later. Now, let us do the same for the table as well. General, the big navigate to effects and in the background, let us disable it. Okay, now let us go to home and take a text box. Place it over here. Make sure that you have covered each and every slicer over here. And let us make the text box as deep blue as possible. Okay, background. And over here, let me select deep blue. Let's, let us go here. This should do our job. Even more darker, even more darker. Yes, yes, yes. Now, make a note of this step. Let us go to format, and over here, we have an option called send backward. Let us click on that, and now make sure that you go to send to back. Okay. Now, have a look at this. You want you can disable the outline as well. I don't think that's making a significant impact. Let us go to general once again and under effects, let us go and disable the visual border. Okay, it will make it even more stunning. Okay. Step one is over, and the second step is to take this text box once again. Let us go ahead, and now let us make sure that each and every card visual has been enveloped. Okay, now go to effects and let us select. The same fellow once again. Now, as it is, let us go to format. Let us go to the option send backward and now click on send to back. Now, let us change this color to white. Since the colors are quite relative, we need to make sure that it has to be contrast in nature. So let us go here and let us change the title and the callout value to white. Now let us go to general and make sure that title is white. Text color white. If you want, you can format these visuals. Bit lazy. Let's go to format editor and apply the same. And let us do the same for the table as well. Let us cover this as a subject section and envelope the table. Now make sure that 
this stitch box is also same in color now let us go to format and click on send to back from send backward option now make sure that you disable each and every grid line from the table go to values and it will be column headers search for grid horizontal grid everything is disabled style presence in the minimal let us go ahead and take alternating rows yeah now go to grid and disable the horizontal grid lines and let us change the colors of the total and column headers first let us open the column headers and make sure that the background color of the column headers is a bit related to the background let us go to the totals and at the totals let us select the same color and now coming back to our value section i will be taking white as my text color and change the background to the relative blue colors okay that's it now let us click on the title let us change the color of my background once again background to deep blue as we did just now let us select this and let us make the transparency to zero let us select the text and make sure that you are making it white since our background is dark in color so there you go so this is how to convert or transform the raw outlook of a power bi report into a stunning outlook so thanks a lot for watching guys make sure that you subscribe so that you do not miss me in the upcoming videos so happy analyzing and take care guys